guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jayla for those of you who don't know I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put out there I know story times are like phased out nobody does them anymore but I'm gonna be real with you half of them just was fake anyway and I have a real live story time for y'all and this was probably like one of the scariest moments of my life because I had a catfish okay sis wanted to be me and it was not fun it was scary I wanted to buy a gun and everything because I was like if this girl is capable of this she's capable of anything so boom let's start back in 2014 I was working at a retail store and they had a manager every now and again the phone would ring and I would answer it well one day I answered the phone thank you for calling da -da -da -da. how can I help you and somebody goes put the bitch on the phone and I'm like whoa I looked to my manager I'm like somebody on the phone asking for a bitch and she was like, Jayla, hang up the phone. And I was like, okay. That happened a couple of times. Once that started happening, I was kind of sad out of my manager like, what is going on? And she was like, I have a stalker. She harasses me and my family, my sister, my mom, and that's my baby daddy's girlfriend. So, and that was the end of that. After that, the calls phased out or I moved, I stopped working there. Something happened. Well, fast forward to 2016, I get a text message from that same manager and she says, hey Jay, um, my stalker follows you on Twitter. I'm like, okay. Then she sends me a screenshot of her wishing miles a happy birthday. And I'm like, all right, whatever. That's no big deal. And um, that was the end of that. You know, I was just like, no way. What? Okay. Okay. Like, maybe she's just a subscriber and that was the end of that fast forward to 2000 the end of 2016 when I got my surgery I came back home to get my surgery done and I'm in the kitchen with my brother and he looked my older brother and he goes yeah one of my childhood friends said she'd be talking to you all the time and I was like really be talking to people like that so it was just so weird that he was like yeah she be talking to you all the time and I was like okay maybe I answered like a DM or something but like I was like talk 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 I don't talk 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 to nobody so that's weird you know my circle this big so he was like oh well that's what she said and I was like okay well I don't know that was that we moved back to the United States and my brother called me again and he kept asking me do I know this guy and I'm like I don't I don't know who that is like why are you asking me he was like because remember I told you that my friend be talking to you all the time she called me and asked me why you always asking about him like did y'all used to talk and I was like no come to find out that was my manager's baby daddy that she was mentioning let's call him let's call him Trey so he calls me he's like hey do you talk to Trey did you ever talk to Trey I'm like no I never talked to him like why would you why would you ask me that he was like because the girl that um my childhood friend let's call her Samantha Samantha said I've been talking to Jayla a lot and why does she keep mentioning Trey and I'm like no so come to find out Trey is my old manager's baby daddy all right so I'm like okay now he was like okay Jayla I think something's up so I'm going to give you her number. So I give her my number and we start talking. And she's like, wow, I don't think I've been talking to you. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, I've been talking to somebody for almost four months now thinking that it was you. And now I have your real phone number and I don't think I've been talking to you. I was like, well, how? And she was like, through Messenger. I was like, what's the page's name? And she was like, Jay O'Neill. And I was like, that's not me on Facebook. And so that's when we discovered that she wasn't talking to me. We ended up meeting up and we met up um, close because she was local. So we met up and once we got over the whole, you know, like, oh, you know, my favorite YouTuber thing. We got down the business. She showed me screenshots of their messages. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and explain it to you. Was literally pretending to be me watching my vlogs and going back and repeating what I was doing to her. So she said like mentally I'm not normal and that drives my anxiety up which forces me to appeal and I'm tired of that. I'm not even 25 and I'm on mental health medications and if I don't take it I'm fucked through the day. I mean I have to take a pill to remember to get out of bed and do shit like I look in the mirror sometimes and I don't recognize myself. I read post comments and see how people feel. I'm going against God and I'm destroying myself and miles. How folks ask, like, why would your wife get surgery? You couldn't find a natural ass. Like, it's just, it's shit like that that depresses me. She's talking about my surgery that I got. Because if y'all don't know, I got my butt done. Um, she's talking about my surgery. But, like, here's another one. You ever had 
days that you just said today is my day I'm not sh I'm not showing in physical I'm not showing in physically but I'm just over life I'm not gonna worry you I feel I feel I worry you enough. I feel like I have stressed you, brought up shit you bury. I'm tired of doing for folks, not not you, people I do shit for regularly. I wish I was normal like the other folks. Sometimes I wish I didn't have my surgery, mine all over the damn place. I don't know what this girl's obsession is with my surgery, but it's weird. Then she said, then it's mad people like yourself who build me up at times my mind is everywhere and the tears are non-stop i hate my house i hate my furniture sometimes i hate being married our secret but that's the human part right bitch what i hate my furniture i hate my marriage that don't even go in the same sentence like what is going on so then she actually impersonates my mother okay she says my mom's a nurse she can get you this job blah 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 samantha gives her all her information the girl jayla all her information to put in an interview or application or something for her and she says oh and i got a message for you okay disregard the first part okay because obviously this is my mother doll <laughs> and and this message is intended for me not you know the first part of the message is for me and i'm just gonna copy and paste the message and then disregard the first part i guess she's trying to make it look trying to make it look real or something jj when you wake up for the day come over and pick your bro up from bus and call joe and remind her of the appointment at school so she won't forget and i checked on the information for your friend she needs her x-ray certification for on-base x-ray positions have her call da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. have her call and say she was referred by usa jobs don't forget to pick up the phone jay love you mommy hey my miles First of all, my mom spells Miles' name M-I-L-E-S, okay? This is, this is not my mother, okay? What? Call Joe and remind her of her appointment at the school so she won't forget. What? Sis. Then she gave us eczema, okay? She gave, now nah, I got eczema now, so it's true, but she gave us eczema. Girl, my story, okay, me and Joe and my little brother has eczema bad. I mean, flaky skin, so we had to train our shit. So I will put bath oil gel in my water to keep my skin soft. Then I use Epsom, Epsom salt and a vino to exfoliate. <laughs> Once my skin was trained, I use bath bombs, but I use aromatherapy pills because of... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did this just give me a whole skincare routine? Like, what? I was like, no, she did not give me and my little brother and sister eczema. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> So, something weird happened after that. Um, Samantha was kind of, she kind of realized that, the catfish girl kind of realized that Samantha was on her. So, weird shit started happening. She started calling her from different numbers. And she texted her from jmajetto at gmail.com, okay? And said, you want to talk or you still in your feelings about me asking you questions or you still bother about me texting you from two different numbers, right? She's sending me all of these screenshots. So then, um, she is emailing her from an email that's in, that's titled Jayla O'Neal. This is, then she said, hey girl, so I have deactivated my Twitter inbox, IG inbox, and now Facebook Messenger. You have my email and I got yours. I'm going to fall back and let you get your career going. Let me get my situation together and get settled back in VA. Don't take anything personal. This was discussed by me, my mom, and, by me, my mom, and Miles. My fucking phone just went dead. Y'all get the picture, okay? So she's emailing this girl, calling this girl from all these different numbers, all these different emails. Something weird happens after that. I work with a company called My First Wig. My First Wig popped up with this random Twitter, okay? My First Wig does not have a Twitter account. 
all right and she gave me the password to it samantha did because she i guess she tried to the catfish tried to make her feel bad like oh girl i was gonna put you in with my first wig and um they made me their account manager or something so samantha gives me the password which is something weird. I want to say it was like Jayla0228 or some crazy stuff like that. Or JJ0228, my birthday. And um, and she gave me the email and she gave me the password. And I logged right into the Twitter account, okay? Now, the Twitter account has my first wigs logo on it. has pictures. has copied and paste stuff from the website. The bio looks official. Everything looks official from this Twitter page, okay? And um, then she tells me... um. Then, so I'm scrolling on the page, and I click on one of the pictures, and it links back to a Pinterest account, okay? And the Pinterest account has a name on it, all right? And it's, and it's Trey's current girlfriend, okay? This is my manager's baby daddy's girlfriend, okay? And this is why she kept asking about Trey. She kept asking Samantha about Trey because, I guess that I guess Samantha and Trey were messing around a little bit on her and now all of a sudden she needs to get information out of this girl so she ended up pretending to be me to be Samantha I mean uh to get information out of Samantha I'm like okay now this has gone too far because you messing with businesses and this is just not something that you do this is out of control so I email catfish all right and I'm like, y'all, I got a sticky situation over here. This girl is really pretending to be me. Like, it's ridiculous. She has my pictures. She's using my pictures. She's sending this girl random pictures of me. She's literally pretending to be me. Like, she's pretending to live out my day-to-day -day life. And now she's created a page for a company that I work with on Twitter. And this is getting messy. So, Catfish emails me back, okay? Catfish emails me back and me and the Catfish producers are talking and everything almost goes through until the Catfish says, I got too much to lose. I'm not doing it. Okay. Everything almost goes. She would not agree to come on to the show. So I'm like, whatever. We get on Catfish or not. I just really want you. I just really want this girl to stop pretending to be me. Now I'm going to tell you how slick I am. So she doesn't know that I have any clue. All right, but she tweets me very often. So this was around the time of my meet and greet. So I text her, I DM'd her on Twitter and I'm like, hey girl, having a meet and greet, I want you to be on VIP. Bitch, ain't no VIP. I'm lying my ass off, ain't no VIP. Um, I want you to be in VIP. Um, yeah. So, you know, what's your phone number so I could put you down? Da, da. So she gives me a phone number, right? So I call the phone number. It's her mom's phone number, okay? So she calls her mom and I'm like, okay, well, I'm trying to get in contact with da-da-da-da-da. She was like, well, I don't give out her number. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't, okay, dead end. So then she was like, then she asked me something like, am I a catfish or something? And I was like, what? No, like, I just want to talk to you. And you gave me your mom's number. And so I said, I got to talk to you about something. I forgot what I had lied about, but I lied to get her on the phone. When I finally got this girl on the phone, y'all, I confronted her and I was like, so what's going on? She goes into this whole spiel about some about Samantha messing with her baby daddy. And now they got a baby and all this other Girl, I don't even know, but I end up confronting her. I'm going to insert the clip here. Okay, so it's 9, 10 in the morning, and I'm about to call the girl who's been pretending to be me. Um, I'm about to tell her, are you going to get paid to tell me the truth, or what are you going to do? And I had a burner phone, and my minutes ran out, so now she's texting me on Twitter, messaging me on Twitter saying, is this the real Jayla? Am I getting catfished? If it's not, if it is the real Jayla, call me. Like, this girl's really batshit crazy, bro. Like, she really thinks that I'm not Jayla because she's so used to being other people. <laughs> About to call her. I called her block. It's Jayla. Okay, Jayla. Is it really Jayla? This is Jayla. Why you think it's not me? Do you know a girl named? Do, a girl named do you know a girl named? Yeah, she was fucking my nigga. Okay, look, 
this what this what I want to. I I keep everything hundred with you as long as you keep everything hundred with me. Okay. Right. First off, I want to let you know that I'm not mad at you. Okay. I know that sometimes niggas drive you to do crazy shit, and I understand. I've been in. I've been in a situation where you don't know how to read your nigga, so you have to find out other ways to, you know, get what you need to get. Um, do you want to get paid to tell me the truth, or what you want to do? You want to get paid to tell me the truth, or what you want to do? Paid. Yeah, paid. What do you, you want to get paid? I got. I know somebody that can pay you. Technically, you don't. You don't owe me nothing. You don't know anybody else. You don't owe anybody else nothing. So you don't have to. Hey, call this Jayla on the phone. Jayla is the one I show you YouTube. With the yeah, he's the one with the butt job. Yeah, but <clears throat> your your thought is supposed to be Jayla's cousin. So now I got Jayla on the phone telling me to call Catfish. Just because you hey, just because of that, and she a pussy, she don't want to talk to me. But it's cool though. Yeah, okay. It's up to you. It's up to you. Oh, no, I'm not talking this about it. I knew what time it was. Because, number one, it was there as a giveaway when, first of all, ain't nobody like Jayla Kennedy. That was a dead giveaway. Because we all know y'all not related. So, that whole cousin shit was bullshit in this little email. Number two, why would Jayla email me for my old Jayla when she had her email on her pages? That was another set of giveaway. So, when I did this video, and I made it very clear in the video, I don't know who the fuck I'm emailing or who's behind this email, or whoever sees it, and ain't got nothing to hide, you know where I'm at. So your side is the reason why this girl calling me. That's why I didn't go to your meet and greet. I'm a just, I already knew. Jayla has no reason to talk to me. I'm almost 40. This girl's 23. I'ma just I'ma just let you know that I but I... The girl, but the girl that you fuck, I got my nigga in front of me. Because first of all, Jayla ain't gonna be friends with me. They ain't got nothing to comment. Nothing. Jayla ain't no thought like her, and Jayla's a married woman. So don't try and get me caught up in your shit because you fucking this wrong. But I knew Jayla. I knew I'm not stupid at all. I know. I just wanna. I just wanna let you know. Email no stranger. Yeah, but from. She knows nothing about me. She knows nothing about me. She knows your baby mom. She knows your baby mom. But that's all she knows. Now Jayla in the middle of this shit. She don't know the fuck I am. I know her mom is a nurse, and we don't even bring this shit to a hospital. So now you got Jayla in the middle of this shit because you fucking the bitch with a whole STD. And that's why she's tired now, hitting everybody up, getting nervous, because she'll have a business out there. So this is what you give me between your dick and thought. Well, so now I got to apologize to you, because I, I have never met you. I was a fan of you through um, YouTube, right? Yeah. I hit you up on Instagram, and then through your J Majet at Gmail, when you did that J Louise. I hit you up to your J Majet at Gmail, and never got a reply back. And my email linked to my Twitter, I get an email at OJ Love. At gmail.com. Now, mind you, can know any and everything about me because this woman has been in my house. She done been in my car. This nigga done had this bra all through my shit. So, what she know about me, who the fuck knows? Come to find out, this nigga, and I got to tell this woman this business, but who cares? But somebody got to hear it. Mm -hmm. So, you married. Imagine your husband behind your back while you out blogging, working, and all this. Your husband brings a woman into your home. Mm -hmm. You find out the woman has been blogging your shit. She done been through your house, your bedroom, everything. So what do you know about me? Who the fuck knows? So now I get an email, right, from a supposedly old Jayla at gmail.com, which is kind of ironic because, of course, it's going to match the same Jayla J at gmail.com. So I get an email. Oh, yeah, thank you for the weed, da 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 Mind you, I asked you to send me pictures. I never got pictures, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. So then no damn well, Jayla created the weed. She got her own pictures. All right, so I got nothing. So then I say, so I see your friends with a girl named, oh, yeah, that's my cousin. But guess what? I can't see that on Twitter because her page is locked. So are you saying that she catfished you first? I don't know who catfished me, but I ain't going to say I catfished because I really never did anything. Right, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just because I never did it. I made a video showing my face and that the video be known. I don't know who I'm talking to behind this video. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what the video is at. I can send it to you. I let the video be known. I say, I don't know who's behind this for this. So who, so do you know who she's talking to for three months, four months? I don't know who, call her damn self. This bitch is doing, she got a huge family, Jayla. So who the fuck knows? See, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused and I'm getting, I'm getting no, mad. No, I put my career, I put my check on Thursday on her 
head. That bitch was shit on herself and we all met her ass up. So show me the email so I was catfishing you at. I want to see him. No, my mom never met you. My mom doesn't. She said she... I just want to. I just want. I want. I want to tell you. I have messages between me and you, right? It's supposed to be me and you. So I'm talking to you. Yeah. Say what? Oh my God! Hey, I sent you a message on Twitter and Facebook. I ordered your Jayla wig, and I wanted to let you know. That unit looks amazing. Plus, I've gotten three before, so I know this one be amazing as well. I said, I said, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I hope you like it. Others will be coming as well. Any questions regarding it to keep up, let me know. Thanks for the support. So you, you send it to me. This is a you whole conversation between me and you. Yep. Wait a minute. Read this thing again. This is what I bought what? Three Jayla wigs. I bought three Jayla wigs. The yeah. I've gotten three before. It said the unit looks amazing. Plus, I've gotten three before. Oh, no, three wigs just from my first wig. Then it says, well, I'm natural as well. And I watch your vids. And I've seen some of your products. Didn't mean to request you. I saw you block me. But I'm sure you swamped with mad people hitting you up. But that's just a hair fan. I was just informing you. Thanks for responding, Jayla. And welcome back home. So you're saying that I made, okay, supposedly I made, hypothetically, whatever. I made a messenger and sent it to Jayla Exactly. So, as y'all can see, she tries to flip it onto Samantha um, and claims that Samantha was the one doing the messages, but it doesn't make any sense why Samantha would be messaging herself. So, I think we all know who's guilty here. Um, because I think I still got it on my laptop. And I was just like, okay, you're not even answering any of my questions. After that conversation with her, she disappeared off the face of the earth, okay? Ah, uh, she unfollowed me from any, everything. Everything just went away. And I never heard from her again. And me and Samantha, we used to talk. Like, we just stopped talking maybe, like, last year. Um, but we are still cool. She still has my number and everything. I just feel so bad because she really used that. She really used me to get information out of a girl. And she had fake email addresses with my name on them. And that is just so... Oh, my gosh, y'all. This lady is almost 40. Okay? She's 40. All right? pretending to be me and that was ridiculous and I want to say she denied it like she never really fully admitted to it but we know it's her why else would you be asking about Trey you know because that's your dude and then now that I get you on the phone and you telling me all this information that I don't have nothing to do with how did I get put in the middle of this why are me and you on the phone right now you know so yeah y'all that shit was crazy okay that was crazy craziest time of my life I really really wanted to I wanted I feel like I needed to protect myself after that because I was so scared like this girl is watching my every move and she's trying to put two and two together and girl Miles cut his foot at the beach and all this other crazy stuff I was like this is not the move okay so yeah that is my story how many minutes is this 18 I did good that is my story about how I got how I confronted my catfish okay with the receipts and everything. Alright. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.